Good morning, students. Let's continue with chapter number six, indices, module two. Dear children, we have already learned four laws of indices in the last module. In this uh, module, we'll continue to learn four more laws. Let's see the law number five. If A is a rational number and M and N are positive integers, then a into b whole raised to m is equals to let's see what is the answer with the help of an example 2 into 3 the whole square let's solve this 2 into 3 is 6 6 square means 6 into 6 6 square is 36 Let's see one more. 2 square into 3 square. Let's solve this. 2 square is 4 and 3 square is 9. So 4 into 9, children, how much it is? 36. Now, 2 into 3, the whole square also is 36 and 2 square into 3 square is also 36 means we can conclude 2 into 3 the whole square is equals to 2 square into 3 square now from this example we can see on the left hand side we have 2 into 3 the whole square that is value of a is 2 and value of b is 3 so a into b whole raised to m is equals to we have two squares so two is value of a so a raised to m into b raised to m so we can write the answer as a raised to m into b raised to m let's see the next law a upon b whole raised to m Let's see this with the help of an example. 2 upon 3, the whole cube. Let's find the value of this. 2 upon 3, the whole cube can be written as 2 upon 3 into 2 upon 3 into 2 upon 3. Let's multiply them. Numerator, we have 2 into 2 into 2 and denominator, we have 3 into 3 into 3. 2 into 2 into 2 is 8. 3 into 3 is 9, 9 threes are 27. So 2 upon 3, the whole cube is 27. Let's see what is the value of 2 cube upon 3 cube. Now 2 cube means 2 into 2 into 2 upon 3 cube means 3 into 3 into 3. Answer will be 8 upon 27. Now as we can see, 2 upon 3, the whole cube, and 2 cube upon 3 cube answer for both is 8 upon 27 so we can conclude both are equal therefore we can write 2 upon 3 the whole cube is equals to 2 cube upon 3 cube now dear children left hand side 2 upon 3 the whole cube we can uh, related to a upon b whole raised to m and right hand side it is nothing but a raised to m upon b raised to m so the answer for a upon b whole raised to m is equals to a raised to m upon b raised to m Let's see the next law. Law number seven, we have a raised to m, the whole raised to n. Now, dear children, instead of one index or power, we have a base with double index. Let's see what will be the answer for this with an help of example. Two cube the whole square 
is nothing but now dear children let's solve 2 cube 2 cube is 2 into 2 into 2 that will become 8 8 square is nothing but 64 let's solve 2 raised to 6 now 2 raised to 6 is nothing but we need to multiply 2 by itself 6 times 2 into 2 is 4 4 into 2 is 8 8 into 2 is 16 16 into 2 is 32 32 into 2 is 64 now dear children you can observe value of 2 cube the whole square and 2 raised to 6 both have value 64 means both of them are equal so we can write 2 cube the whole square is equals to 2 raised to 6 now left hand side 2 cube the whole square we can relate it to a raised to m whole raised to n and right hand side we can see we have 2 raised to 6 now dear children how do we get 6 which mathematical operation will be used so that we will get 6 is it 3 plus 2 3 plus 2 is 5 no 3 minus 2 3 minus 2 is 1 no we want 6 so we need to multiply them that is 3 into 2 is 6 means this is 6 is nothing but m raised to n so we can write the answer as a raised to m into n it can also be written as a raised to m n let's go for the next law law number eight we have a upon b whole raised to minus m that is fraction with a negative index let's understand this with the help of an example 2 upon 3 whole raised to minus 3 now dear children to remove this negative index we will have to apply law that is a raised to minus m is equals to 1 upon a raised to m so we can write this as 1 upon 2 upon 3 the whole cube now apply the law a upon b whole raised to m is equals to a raised to m upon b raised to m so we get 1 upon 2 cube upon 3 cube now this 1 upon upon can be written in the form of division so it can also be expressed as 1 divided by 2 cube upon 3 cube now to solve this we need to convert division into multiplication so it will become 1 into now when we change division into multiplication the fraction has to be changed into reciprocal so reciprocal of 2 cube upon 3 cube will be 3 cube upon 2 cube this can be expressed as a common power that is 3 upon 2 the whole cube now dear children you can observe in the question we have taken 2 upon 3 raised to minus 3 now the negative index has become positive in the answer and the fraction 2 upon 3 has become reciprocal so we can write a upon b whole raised to minus m as reciprocal of a upon b will be b upon a and negative index will become positive so the law becomes a upon b raised to minus m is equals to 
b upon a whole raised to m dear children let's solve practice set 29 question number one simplify sub question one let's see the question we have 15 upon 12 cube the whole raised to 4 now we have a fraction with double indices so dear children which law can be applicable here we can see a raised to m the whole raised to n is equals to a raised to m into n so we need to multiply both the indices so the next step will be 15 upon 12 raised to 3 into 4 let's write the law as a reason that is a raised to m whole raised to n is equals to a raised to m into n now 3 into 4 is 12 so the answer will be 15 upon 12 whole raised to 12 let's see sub question 3 we have 1 upon 7 raised to minus 3 whole raised to 4 here also we have a fraction which is nothing but a base raised to double index so we need to multiply both the indices so the law applicable will be a raised to m all raised to n is equals to a raised to m into n so we need to multiply both the indices next step will be 1 upon 7 whole raised to minus 3 into 4 now minus 3 into 4 is minus 12 so the answer will be 1 upon 7 raised to minus 12 and we need to write reason that is a raised to m whole raised to n is equals to a raised to m into n let's solve next sum sum number four question is 2 upon 5 raised to minus 2 whole raised to minus 3 now we need to multiply both the indices that is minus 2 and minus 3 base will remain same that is 2 upon 5 so the next step will be 2 upon 5 raised to minus 2 into minus 3 dear children tell me which law is applicable yes it's a raised to m whole raised to n is equals to a raised to m into n minus 2 into minus 3 is 6 when we multiply to negative numbers answer is always positive so the answer is 2 upon 5 whole raised to 6 let's see the next sum sub question 7 question is 2 upon 3 raised to minus 4 whole raised to 5 let's apply the law that is a raised to m whole raised to n is equals to a raised to m into n so we need to multiply both the indices that is minus 4 and 5 minus 4 into 5 is minus 20 so the next step first we need to write 2 upon 3 raised to minus 4 into 5 let's write the law as a reason that is a raised to m whole raised to n is equals to a raised to m into n minus 4 into 5 is minus 20 so our final answer will be 2 upon 3 raised to minus 20. let's continue with practice set 29 question number two 
write the following numbers using positive indices. So dear children, we'll be given a question with a negative index. We have to remove that negative index and we have to make it positive. Let's see how can we do it. Sum number one, two upon seven raised to minus two. Now dear children, observe the question and uh, tell me which law will be applicable. Now we can relate this question to a upon b whole raised to minus m. So to remove this negative index, a upon b will become b upon a. That is reciprocal of the fraction which is given as a base. So the answer will be 2 upon 7 will become 7 upon 2 and minus 2 will become 2. Let's see the law which is applicable. a upon b whole raised to minus m is equals to b upon a whole raised to m. Let's write the final answer that is 2 upon 7 raised to minus 2 is equals to 7 upon 2 raised to 2. Next sub question 4 we have y raised to minus 4. Now dear children we don't have a fraction as a base. So this y can be written as y upon 1 raised to minus 4. Now we can relate this with a upon b whole raised to minus m. Reason is a upon b whole raised to minus m is equals to b upon a raised to m. So y upon 1 will become 1 upon y raised to 4. So we can write the final answer as y raised to minus 4 is equals to 1 upon y raised to 4. That's the final answer. Now dear children, we have completed with all the exercises, last practice set, that is practice set 30 is omitted from your portion this year. So now note, we need to write the laws of indices on the same page where you have written first four laws in continuation. So we'll be having all the eight laws together. And you need to solve practice set 29, which is explained in this video. Thank you.